Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to our channel. Our channel is called Blooming Plume and I'm so glad that you found us and I hope you check out my other episodes just to kind of see what I'm about. We mostly do a lot of craft things and squishies. I do a lot of quirky little weird things, um, lots of different parts here and there and so I involve my kids a lot and that's a lot of fun and of course my dog Oliver who is a pug and he's adorable. For this episode, I'm going to, I was trying to think out of the box and I noticed our old grimy, disgusting, old magnets on our fridge and our freezer. And I was <coughs> like, I'm gonna do something with that. These are disgusting. And I thought about cleaning them and I was like, why don't I just completely do them over? So I was thinking of cute little things I could do. And then I was like, I love to paint squishies why don't I make my magnets into magnet squishies? <laughs> Sounds kind of out there, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I was looking around at all my um, old squishies, things that I'm probably never going to paint. And so, and I have a multitude of, and so I decided I'm going to use things like this and of course the popcorn and um, my strawberries. And I decided to make little flower squishy magnets, <laughs> flower squishy magnets. And so <laughs> I'm gonna use this to make a little marigold and this, I found a better ones to do little roses and other surprises. So you'll see, I'm gonna do daisies, um, jasmine, and of course a plumeria. We were actually gone last week and so that's why I haven't really posted in a while and we were on vacation and so now we're back and school's starting so it's kind of crazy. And so come along with me and ready, let's get started. Okay, so this guy was not meant to be included in my series, but he was kind of like my experiment to see um, if things worked out. Um, I need to really warn you guys before this starts about the super glue that I'm going to be using on the magnets. So I'm definitely not condoning going against the bottle's instructions, but for me, I tried it and it was fine. And so I'm just telling, warning people about the warning. Uh oh, I put it on crooked. Oh well. Ah, I have it on my fingers. Okay, so that pretty much worked out. Let's paint this guy. So since the theme is flowers, I decided to put a cute little daisy on his nose in the middle of his face and I'm using white chalk pencil to outline it first. Sorry I forgot to outline the eyes on camera for you guys, but I want to bring your attention right now to these crafts for all markers and I bought them on Amazon. There's a picture of them and right now I'm using the gold. I like them because they go on really light and you can blend them in really easily. And I'm going to be doing much more work on that flower, trust me. So now I want to bring your attention to the eyes. <laughs>
I'm sorry about that. So for some reason, I'm super picky about my eyes. So I'm a perfectionist when it comes to the eyes. And so I went all the way back over it with Sharpie and I'm going to start over painting it. So that took a lot longer than I thought it would. So anyway, I decided to do a new thing where I put the date on the back of it so that I know when I had painted it. So let's go in with my Mod Podge and I'm gonna put a nice shiny coat on there so that I can be sure the paint will stay on. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I tried to do it. Handstand. Do it again, Paige. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Hi, guys. It's me, Paige. Today, we're gonna paint my paint and fly, fly. What is this light? Is this light purple? It is. And okay, it's covered again. Okay. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It smells good. It smells good. Huh. Hey, what's going on here? Boo boo. Boo boo. I got a paint in my arms and brush it and wash it and wash it. What is this going to be, Paige? I don't know. It, it looks it, like a little person with spiky hair. It's but does not have spiky hair. Okay, it's nice hair. <laughs> So I was a little overwhelmed. I had so many ideas, but I remembered my beautiful hydrangeas that were in season, but not right now, and decided to make them. So here are the leaves I'm going to be using. And then the popcorn is going to be the actual flower. So it's important to uh, properly sand your squishies that you're going to be using because otherwise the paint will peel or it'll flake. So I decided to use a light pink as my base, and then I decided to kind of do more darker pinks and blend them in. But then it was slowly and slowly turning into looking like maybe it belonged inside of the body <laughs> instead of on the outside of the body. And so eventually I actually changed up the colors. So I decided to add purple and I'm mixing in all the different paints. It didn't even show how long it took me to mix those colors. But now I'm applying layer after layer.
hope you enjoyed that Greek music. My grandma, my yaya, would be very proud. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It was quite the journey. I made sure not to let it become cyanotic. <laughs> okay, so now I'm using the Artesia pearl colors to blend in with my slick paint and this took a lot of layers but it was worth it in the end and now it's time to cut as much of that foam as I can I had to really like like measure with my fingers to make sure I wasn't cutting through the poor flower and so now it's time to see if the magnet will stick I'm using a really thick one so that the flower kind of looks like it's standing up off of the fridge and now i'm adding some super glue and please again please be careful when doing this i just needed it to really stick to that magnet and now i'm filling it in with slick paint and so that'll create a large barrier and a large layer of it won't allow it to sink in the foam and then just add the date okay <laughs> sorry about that so i'm so glad that you watched my video please come back so here's the grand finale oh i'm working on this magnet board it's going to be white down here i'm using acrylic paint and i use gesso and it's actually turning out okay and um, no problems, no scratch it, scratching. So ready, here we go. Grand finale. And hooray. So thank you so much for watching and please come back. All right, see you later.